Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick first impressions and tutorial using um, this palette, the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. I did just show this in the video I uploaded yesterday of my last shopping haul for the VIB sale in at Colourpop. And I've noticed that a lot of reviews on this, um, some of the YouTubers are not liking how they swatch and I really wanted to get up close and personal with this palette and see just how it performs and how it really looks on the eyes. So let's see. So let us see just exactly how these perform and how they look on the eyes. I'm going to try a lot of the colors in the palette and I'm going to experiment with different brushes. I have my rose water here in case I feel like my brush that I'm using needs to be wet. So. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cream color on the bottom row and I'm going to use that to set my eye primer. Okay, eye primer set and I'm going to go in with the middle color and just put that all over my crease and, around, and above and underneath my crease as well. I'm going to use the same e.l.f. brush for this. So far, this is blending in beautifully. I think this color is working and going to work very well for a transition color. I'm not really even having to blend it. It's just evening out and going everywhere I want it to go very easily. Next, I'm going to take this ColourPop brush. This isn't quite as fluffy and it doesn't have the tapered tip. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to go in with this color right here. And I'm going to place this in my crease as well. So far, I again, I just, I feel like these are blending wonderfully on the eyelids. I feel like these are blending very beautifully. I'm not having any issue. I'm not sealing any fallout. These colors so far are so beautiful. I went in one time with this color. And normally I go in at least twice, but I don't think I'm going to need to with this one. So, so far, so good. Now I'm going to take this unique crease brush and it's a little more precise and I'm going to go in with this color here and focus on the crease in the outer corner. I just very, very lightly tapped the brush into this color. I am going to have to go in a second time. And I'm not going all the way through my entire crease. I'm stopping about two thirds of the way. <laughs> Just do the same thing on my other eye. For the eyelid, there's three shades that have shimmer. Two look like they're more of a glitter texture and one looks more of a metallic. So these two here seem to have the same texture. And then this one here has a little more of a sheenness to it. So these two would probably need to be applied with your finger or a damp brush. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one with a brush, a dry brush, and see what happens. I think that's applying very well. So far, I'm really, really loving this palette. I knew I would as soon as I saw it. I knew I had to have it.
And now I'm going to go in with a little darker shade that has a different texture to it. And I'm going to just try that with a dry uh, sponge brush and see what happens. That one, that side I won't use, so I'll use the clean side, the cleaner side. Let me just see what happens. That seems to be going on pretty well. I had to try this out and I wanted to do it on a video so you guys could see just exactly how these eyeshadows perform because I am absolutely loving it. I think that looks so good. I do want to try this color, more of a champagne mauve color up here on the top corner. Um, what I think I'm going to do with that is I think I'm going to go just in the center of my eyelid and I think I'm going to dampen this with my rose water and see what happens. So you guys will have to wish me luck because I'm actually getting ready for my interview at Sephora. Super excited. How cool would that be? That would be pretty cool. Alright, so take this color and just pat that on the center of my eyelid. I just love it. I think that I could create several different looks using this. I think it's so travel friendly. I'm absolutely happy, happy, ecstatic that I purchased it. And I might even go as far as to say this might be one of my favorite palettes this far. Of course I have, this is my first time using it, but I really want you guys to see. I want you to see how it performs and how it looks on the eyes and you saw yourself, you know, how they went on and how they blended and I did not wet my brush until the very end going in with this last color here. Okay, now I'm going to do underneath my waterline, I'm going to use the same two colors I used in my crease. So I'm going to take this, these two, and then I used this one on the outer V. But I'm going to start with this middle one and put that underneath my bottom lash line. And I'm going to take a little of this color here. I did, I went ahead and applied my bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And then I figured I'd jump back on and do my lower lash line. So now I'm just going to buff that out with a more fluffy brush. These are just out of a little set that I bought off the Sephora website. And then I'm going to take the darker color with an even more thin brush and I'm going to take this darker color and just press that as close as I can to my lower lash line. Just on the outside, I'm not going to go all the way.
and go back in and smudge that out again. Everything's fine. <laughs> Okay, now just do the other eye. Okay, now I want to do a little highlight in the inner corners and I'm actually going to use this palette. I'm going to use the lightest shimmer shade in here and just see what happens and put that just a little bit on the inner corner of my eyes. I'm using this brush from Real Techniques. I think this is the perfect brush for those inner corners. I think that color is perfect for doing that. I really do. And you see the difference. And I only used a little bit. I'll do a little more. Okay, so that's one eye done. I don't know if I dare do it up here. Just might not work. I don't know. Oh, that works. I just need a very little bit. And then do the other side. Okay, so that's the completed eye look. I'm going to do lips, eyeliner, mascara, and then come back and leave you with my final thoughts. Okay, guys, this is my completed look for the day. What do you think? Give me a thumbs up if you like this look. I'm absolutely loving it. I think it's perfect for traveling. I think it has really everything that you need. This is great for setting your eye primer. And this is, works really well for the highlight for the inner corner of your eyes and your brow bone. I think all of these colors are amazing. They blend well. They are, it's very effortless to blend them out. And they're so vibrant and pretty. I'm so happy I bought this. And I really might go as far as to say that this is my favorite palette right now. So again, thanks for watching. Let's get subscribing so that I can start doing some makeup giveaways. And until next time, guys, bye.